God help this precious wife you have given to me. I don't want to hear this statement come out of your mouth again. You understand? And, you know, when I say I'm going to rebuke, I'm not saying that I'm going to, hey, 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 no, 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 no. The rebuke I'm talking about is that I'm going to take the blame upon myself because it's my responsibility to enlighten her. And I haven't done it yet. Are you understanding me? So the point I'm trying to make is that, please, there are some things, doors that God will be opening. And the devil will say, ah, you know, you, you didn't learn that in school. You know, that is not your area. You know, this one, turn your back on it. And if you are not sensitive enough spiritually, you say, yeah, you know, God, you know, I didn't do engineering in school. You know, I, you know, God, I learned carpentry. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. You are going to, or God is going to put you in some positions and, I, I, I mean, empower you to fashion that, that you'll be amazed at yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because there are a lot of you here, where you are occupying is not where God has put you to occupy. So, by the hand of God, he's going to put you. He made you. He knows the stuff he put in you. God knows where you can function where. He knows what you are, you are equipped to do. He made us. So, by the hand of God, he's going to pick us and, you know, reposition us at the right place. Our divine position on earth. And then you see yourself flowing by the power and the grace and the wisdom of God. That's what is going to be happening to every one of us here. Amen. Amen. That is why you are not going to take it for joke at all these three days. These three days beginning from today and tomorrow and Tuesday. Please close everything. I'm emphasizing on that because I know the enemy will bring distraction. But it is your responsibility to be determined not to allow distractions. Close everything. If possible, turn the phone off. The reason why I don't turn my phone off is that sometimes I receive emergency call that demise attention. That's why otherwise the phone go off. Just like a lady called me last week and a whole lot of things was in a mess and I have to minister to her and I was with her yesterday and God touched her. When I was leaving, he said, Pastor, there is a big relief. Something is moved out of my, my shoulder. I said, that's the Holy Spirit. You know, so that is why I cannot turn the phone off. But if you permit me, I will turn it off. So that the next three days, no call. <laughs> Praise God. Open the line. You call me straight to the voicemail. Like the way Pastor Mike displayed it here. You know? Praise the Lord. Church, I see you manifesting gloriously. Amen. By the power of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So God. This week, I want to see your vengeance on them. I want to hear some news. Those that have been witching me, those that have been tormenting, those that, those that have been sitting on my destiny, sitting on my breakthrough, sitting on my promotion. Father, this week, I want to see your vengeance. I want to hear something. I want to see and hear vengeance come on them. I want to see them scream in pain and confess. I want to see it because you are my father and you are the God of vengeance. I want to see. Amen. And that prayer is scriptural because we just read it in the Bible. So God, I want to see it. I want to see it. You see, this is the way you prepare yourself for breakthrough. Instead of running around fake prophets. For them to be telling you this is do this did that this person did that and break money we will pray and they are all fake they are all demonic they are all liars they are all thieves all those that are doing that they are robbers of churches as of the apostles he said these are not robbers of churches it means they were robbers of churches 
So don't become a victim to them because there is a situation in your life. Please, you are a child of God. Spend time with God in prayer and fasting for empowerment. And call on God for vengeance. Father, I want to see your vengeance on them. I want to see it. And your father will let you see it this week in Jesus' name. Amen. I say we will see it this week. Amen. Whatever has been harassing your life, from now, you are the one going to be harassing it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We read it in the Bible where, in the book of Matthew, where Jesus was coming and a demon ran to fall at his feet. He said, please, leave us alone. Jesus, leave me alone, for I know who you are. You are the son of the most high God. I know you, you have the power to destroy me. Please, don't destroy me. And Jesus said, whatever I did, you do more than that. So the same way they bowed to Jesus and respected him, that's the same way they have to do to me. And that is why from today, any demon, any witch, any demon incarnate person that sees you will plead for mercy from you. Amen. They can't stand your presence. They will plead, please. They will plead with you, please, leave us alone. Now, think about it. Can the demon that is saying, leave me alone, turn around and torment your life? Can the demon that is saying, please, don't destroy me, turn around and destroy your seat on your destiny? No! But why are they doing it to some people? Because power is lacking. If power is not there, they fool around you. When power comes, they plead for mercy. Yes. Amen. So from today, they will plead for mercy anytime we appear. Amen. God has put them at our mercy now. We will do to them as we wish. So no more, I had a dream and the bull was chasing me. Turn around, kill the bull and make a soup <laughs> with the bull. He's meat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Christianity is power. As many as received Christ Jesus, to them gave he power. It's not religion, it's not church membership. Power. But the problem with the church is that the church does not want to line up themselves with scriptural demise to be empowered. The church has allowed the world into the church, so sin has come into the church, so power has slept, stepped out. Because as long as sin is there, empowerment is impossible. That is why God said, turn ye at my reproof, and I will pour my spirit upon you. Turn away from sin. Because I don't empower people that live in sin. And that's the problem with the church. All kinds of things are going on in churches. All kinds of covering up dubious things in churches. So the power is lacking and the world is taking control. And Christians are sitting down, pastors are sitting down and all they know is to blame politicians. Who told you the answer is in the politician's hand? The answer is in the hand of the church. That is why the Bible says in the book of Romans, the endless expectations of the world is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. They are not waiting for the manifestations of politicians and presidents. Politicians and presidents are confused. They don't have the answer. Their little head and little knowledge cannot deal with the challenges in the world. Yeah. Unto God is in charge. Nobody can solve any problem. Nobody. Politicians don't have answer to your problem. So stop being a politician. Stop it. Stop following them. No matter what they say, deep down in their heart, nobody is speaking the truth. And I want them to challenge me on that. Nobody, not one politician is telling you the truth. They are all there for themselves. Forget about the eloquent talking and well-articulated words. I mean, we are talking of a speech that somebody sit down, they sit down, they plan, they array, they read it, rearrange, read it, rearrange, read it, rearrange, and they come and pour it out. And you think it's from the heart? <laughs> they are only touching on the emotions of people. They know what the people want to hear. So when the speech is written, uh, the advisor, the secretary, they say, no, 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 you know, it, American people don't want to hear this thing. So let, let's remove this line and, and put this one there. It's all bunch of lies, hypocritical speeches. 
So why are Christians looking up to them? Oh, if I, if this person becomes the president, we, our problem is solved. If you are that person, you are living in a fool's paradise. 